Award-winning Hungarian film director Arpad Bogdan knew his parents were Roma or Gypsy. Last year, we filmed him trying to find them. Arpad wasn't raised as a Roma. He'd been brought up in state orphanages. This summer, Arpad flew back home to Hungary to find the Roma had become headline news. In a country hard hit by the global recession, the extreme right has gained ground partly by targeting the Roma. They call gypsies welfare dependents and petty criminals. Many agree. Then in 2008, the start of a series of vicious attacks shocks Hungary. The only thing linking the victims is their race. 15 gypsy houses are attacked, always at night, all at the edge of villages. Five people killed, including a woman and a four-year-old child. All this is happening in a terrible social climate and it's in society we have to look for the answers. The killers have become more confident. This time, for the first time, they entered the gypsy's house. They shot a single mother and her 13-year-old daughter in their sleep. As her mother is buried, the girl is fighting for her life in hospital. For her grandmother, the pain's too much to take. I read the interview in which she predicted months before the first attack that there would be killings. How did you know? I'm not at all proud of my prediction. I wish I'd been wrong. Some pathological individuals see this as a solution, just like the Ku Klux Klan used to. Pathological? Yes, yes, I'm convinced of that. Someone who kills people because of the color of their skin cannot be sane. But it was fairly clear to me that it could come to something like this. And I'm afraid to say it, but I think it could get worse. Worse how? Pogroms. What? Pogroms. More than one person will be killed at a time. And eventually the Roma will lose their cool. They will strike back and then this give and take will never end. Is there a way out anywhere? Bridges have to be built quickly and locally. We shouldn't look for politics with a capital P in this. There should be small-scale local projects to provide people with something to do, some source of income, employment. In a Budapest cafe, Arpad catches up with Virag, the niece of the most recent victim. It's been three weeks since they met at her aunt's funeral. Do you think that maybe it's also your responsibility to help the Roma cause? Well, put it like that, no, I don't think so. These issues. These problems appear in my work anyway. I don't see myself as a civil rights activist or anything. I don't think it's something I have to bang on about all the time. But there is no doubt that when you look at what I stand for, when you look at what is represented in my work, the identification with the Roma is very clearly there.